Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe why it's important to maintain fish stocks at sustainable levels. You should then be able to describe the roles of fishing quotas and net sizes in maintaining fish stocks. And this is for triple biology students only. Now in large parts of the world fish is a major source of food. In the past fishing was relatively small scale so the numbers of fish in the sea stayed fairly constant. However, with modern fishing, all of that has changed. Now, a great deal of fish are caught in huge trawler ships. These ships can stay at sea for weeks at a time. Trawlers such as this use huge fishing nets and modern technology to locate fish. Trawlers can easily catch many tons of fish, and because of this, fish stocks in many parts of the world are falling. Now, this presents a big problem. Once fish stocks in an area fall below a certain level, there are not enough mature fish left to breed. At this point, fish stocks simply collapse to an extremely low level. If that happens, then commercial fishing for those species will not be possible. Over the past 20 years, fish stocks in many parts of the world have become dangerously low. Governments across the world are attempting to reverse this, and there are two main strategies. Firstly, the fishing industry has set strict quotas on the numbers of fish that can be caught for each species. The idea is that by reducing the number of fish caught, the remaining fish can breed and bring the population back to normal levels. Secondly, the net size must be large enough that smaller, immature fish are not caught. This means that these fish can then develop into adults and reproduce, and again hopefully restore the size of the fish stock. Now these strategies are working. In the 1970s and 80s, levels of North Sea cod fell sharply. However, since the introduction of quotas and minimum net sizes, the population is increasing again to sustainable levels. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on sustainable fishing in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 